Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys another Poly Jill kit. And this one is by Sabe or Subai. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, so I'm sorry. But this is an amazing kit. It has a lot of goodies in it. So if you guys wanna see what comes in the box and what I do with the products, then please keep on watching. Mwah. The first thing I want to do is show you the kit itself, which is composed of six colors and a great variety of products and decorations. When we open the box, we find this clipper for extensions with spare parts included, and we also find these clips that I've been seeing all over social media to hold the dual forms in place when applied to the nail. This tool is two in one, it has a spatula on one side to cut, grab and transfer the poly gel and on the other side we find the brush that is used to mold the product. Also included are these lovely glitter butterfly decorations in the color purple, orange and pastel blue. Above the butterflies, we find silver and gold nail foil, which is also perfect to decorate the nails. On this side, we find 70% alcohol and gel polish remover wipes. As I mentioned, this is a fairly complete kit. The only thing that I don't like is that it doesn't come with slip solution to mold the poly gel, so take that into account in case you guys decide to obtain this kit. This is a voucher with the warranty and information about the company, plus some other products that they offer for nail care. Here we find the six tubes of poly gel. One is nude colored, one is bubblegum pink, one is clear, there is another one clear but with iridescent glitter in it, another one is iridescent silver glittered, and the last one is iridescent purple glitter. These two polishes are the gel base and top coat. At the bottom of the box, we find some tweezers and a tool with a wax piece to pick up the crystals. These two tools are perfect for working with any type of rhinestones on the nails. Here we find beautiful iridescent crystals of different sizes, and on the other side we find a bag full of different stickers to decorate the nails. I didn't have the opportunity to use the stickers, but if I'm not mistaken, they are the kind that transfer with water. I don't know if this is from your generation, guys, but when I was a little girl, I used to buy these pieces of gum, and inside of the wrapper came these tattoos that were transferred to the skin with water, and that's the only applicable reference that came to my mind. In this wheel, we find more rhinestones of different shapes, sizes, and colors. These are the basic tools to prep the nails, the Kiroko Nipper, the Kiroko Pusher, and the files of different grids. This also is a dual tool, and by the way, it has a very nice presentation. On each end comes a precision brush for those of you who enjoy drying with acrylic paints or gel polishes. Here we find some decorative tapes of different colors, as well as guides to draw precise French lines and sculpting forms for nails. This included brush is perfect for removing excess dust from the nails while we work. These two small containers are used to put the liquid to mold the poly gel or to mix glitters and other products. Finally, we find a box with dual forms of different sizes to place the poly gel extensions on the natural nails. Before starting this video, I prepped my natural nails. I'm just in need of primer and of base coat. So I'm going to start with the primer and then I am going to apply a gel base coat on all the nails, which I'm going to cure under my lamp for 30 seconds. As I mentioned in my last video, this layer is necessary for the poly gel to adhere to the natural nails and there is no need to apply it on thick, a thin layer will do. Also, as I mentioned in my last video, it is very important to seal the sides in the cuticle area well without touching the skin to avoid lifting, so I usually take my time to make sure that everything is well done. 
After curing, I am going to use a little bit of 70% alcohol, placing it in one of the containers that I showed you from the kit, and I am also going to start with a clear poly gel on the pinky nail. To mold the product, I am using the brush that came in the kit, and as always, this is the only nail of all, which I am not going to reinforce at the apex, since I think that the amount of poly gel that I grabbed is perfect for the size of the nail. After molding the product in the dual form, I am going to bring it to the nail, and as usual, I am going to check the sides and the bottom part, and then I am going to cure each nail under the lamp for 15 seconds. I am going to apply an extension of glitter pink poly gel on my ring nail. Although these nails are going to have a lot of bling as you guys will see later in this video, in essence that elegant touch that I like so much is going to prevail so don't freak out. In this mold, as I mentioned previously, I am going to reinforce the apex and then I am going to apply the product on the ring nail and I am going to cure under a lamp for 15 seconds once again. Okay, so continuing on the middle nail, I am going to apply an extension of the skin color and I am going to repeat the same process to mold the product and reinforce the apex and I am also going to cure under my lamp for 15 seconds. On the index nail, I am going to repeat exactly the same process of the ring nail. While I was applying the rest of the extensions, I realized that the ring nail was shorter than the rest, so I am going to add a little bit more of poly gel on the bottom before removing the dual form to lengthen the nail, and then I am going to cure facing down in my lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so to finish with the application of poly gel, on the thumbnail, I am going to repeat the same exact process as the middle nail. Once all the extensions are applied, I am going to cure all my nails under my lamp for 60 seconds. After curing, I am going to remove the dual forms. I am going to remove the sticky layer of poly gel with 99% alcohol and a small piece of paper towel. And then I am going to remove the excess poly gel with my e-file machine and my metal carbide bit. And also, I am going to shape the nails using my hand file. 
The e-file machine that I am going to be using in today's video is also from the same company as the Polygels, and I think it's perfect for practicing or for those of you who prefer to do your own nails at home. In the comments, I noticed some of you guys saying that you wanted to see how I file the cuticle area, so in this video I decided to add more of the filing footage so that you guys can see it in more detail. After filing my nails and removing the excess dust, I am going to clean them once again with a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol and I am going to apply crystals all over the pinky nail. On the middle and thumbnail, I am going to outline the cuticle area and on the ring and index nail, I am going to apply three crystals in the corners. The crystals that I am going to use are the ones that came in the kit and to add them to the surface of the nails, I am just going to use regular nail glue. After applying the crystals, I am going to apply a layer of gel top coat on all the nails, except the pinky nail, and I am only going to apply the gel around the crystals. In the description box, I am going to leave all the details of the products, so let me know if you guys decide to try them out. I am going to cure this layer under my lamp for 60 seconds and then I am going to apply a layer under the pinky, ring and index nail and I am going to cure facing down in my lamp for 30 seconds. To finish off, I am going to apply cuticle oil to nourish the area. And my loves, this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, which I made with so much love for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you guys can be up to date with all my content. I love you all very much. See you soon. May God bless you. Mwah.